Does the flu cause schizophrenia? The cause of schizophrenia is widely debated and to this day remains largely unknown. In the early 1990s, researchers noticed how many individuals diagnosed with schizophrenia were born around the same time of year. This time of year relayed back to the first and second trimester of their mother's pregnancies which coincided with the flu season. This correlation ultimately led researchers to the question, Does maternal flu exposure lead to an increased risk in infant schizophrenia development? But what is schizophrenia? Schizophrenia is a mental disorder that affects approximately 1% of the world population. Usually, schizophrenia is diagnosed in early adulthood with males being diagnosed slightly earlier than females. It is an extremely debilitating disorder with symptoms ranging from hallucinations to cognitive deficits. And how does acquiring the flu cause this disorder? In order to answer this, we must have a simple understanding of how the body interacts with the influenza virus. The flu, as it's commonly known, is a virus called influenza. It is responsible for the illness we all know as the common cold. Influenza is most commonly acquired in the winter, which is why the season is known as cold season. Cold season. Our body's immune system becomes activated when it detects foreign particles such as the influenza virus. Upon activation, antibodies, which are Y-shaped proteins, are produced. Your body acquires new antibodies every time you get a new infection. Immune activation also leads to molecules called cytokines to accumulate in the area of infection. Cytokines are immune cells which release toxins to kill pathogens such as the influenza virus. Cytokines are unfortunately not able to limit this toxin release to only foreign material and oftentimes healthy tissue is destroyed along with virus impacted tissue. As previously mentioned, the first study which examined this correlation determined that there was an excess of spring births for individuals diagnosed with schizophrenia. The conclusion of this paper was that a spring birth aligns with the first and second trimester of the mother's pregnancy occurring during flu season. This was the first time a mental disorder was thought to have an immunological cause. After this correlation was discovered, researchers tested the link between schizophrenia and prenatal influenza exposure using maternal blood and long-term psychiatric data. It showed that when a mother is exposed to influenza during the first half of pregnancy, there is three times the risk of the infant developing schizophrenia in adulthood. When mothers were exposed to influenza during the first 12 weeks of pregnancy, the risk of schizophrenia was increased by seven times. Another study surveyed the number of influenza antibodies within individuals with schizophrenia versus individuals not affected with the disorder. It was found that schizophrenic individuals showed a significant increase in the number of influenza strain antibodies they possess in comparison to non-schizophrenic individuals. As with most neurological diseases, the mechanism behind the onset of schizophrenia remains speculative, but that has not stopped scientists from pushing forward and trying to get a better understanding of how schizophrenia develops. The first possible mechanism is that the virus may directly negatively impact the fetal brain. Scientists found that after a mother mouse had been infected with a low dose of influenza, the fetus had detectable levels of virus present in the brain. This study provided evidence of the virus being passed from mother to baby. The second proposed mechanism is that the mother's immune response may negatively impact the fetal brain. After viral infection, the tissues of the mother and baby will release cytokines. These cytokines hinder the development of neuron growth, especially in the cortex of the brain. One study showed that individuals with schizophrenia also have diminished neuron growth and connections. Although the exact nature of how the influenza virus causes schizophrenia still remains unknown, it is important that researchers discover disease mechanisms in order to further treatment for those impacted with the disease. Thanks for watching.